Hi everyone, it's me Kit. I'm here to do a quick reading for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. Just a quick general reading for the collective. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I love doing this for you guys. So, without further ado, let's uh, get on it with tomorrow's reading. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do you have for my collective, please, for Thursday, March 4th, 2021? Thank you. Let's see what we've got. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Death card. So tomorrow I feel like whoever it is I'm reading for, some of you might be putting an end to doing too many things, putting an end to, um, you know, having too many things on your plate. I feel like it's been quite a whirlwind for some of you lately and you're putting an end to that at this point. You're, you're, you're pretty much um, planning on focusing on one thing and one thing only and instead of filling your head up with too many things. Now you also may have some type of decision that needs to be made tomorrow um, regarding possibly two people. But um, I just feel like you're putting an end to something um, that has been really, um, you know, a burden to you. Let's see. What else, Spirit? What else can you tell my collective for Thursday, March 4th, 2020? What else can you tell my collective, please? Wow. Okay. There's a lot there, but I'm going to take them. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. Okay. So, again, I still feel like you um, are going to have a choice to make. You're going to have to give something up. Something is being given up. You have the Three of Pentacles here. It's talking about working with somebody, uh, collaborating with someone, the Page of Cups. There's a lot of love here. With the Knight of Wands, perhaps, um, you know, this person is also passionate about what you're passionate about. You have something that has to end here. I'm going to pull some clarifier cards and we'll see. Okay, nothing did come out. Underneath the deck, we have the Hanged Man. So this is something that you've been thinking about for some time. With the King of Cups, I feel like there's love there uh, with this uh, situation. And we also have the Lovers underneath that as well. Let me get another deck. Let me use these. Spirit, please clarify the cards on the table for my collective, please. Messages for March 4th, 2021. Sorry, guys, I'm looking for my cat. She's, you know how Ella feels when I read. <laughs> she gets upset. Okay, please clarify the Two of Pentacles, please. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Place the two pentacles here, please. We have the two pentacles again, the emperor and the six of swords. So the two pentacles and the two pentacles, that's just confirmation to me. I feel like there is um, a decision you have to make. You're going to have to 
stand firm, you're going to have to be um, serious and you're going to have to take charge to make this decision. I feel like you're, a move, you're moving away from something that no longer serves you, something that has kept you juggling too many things. Whether you have two jobs, maybe there are two people in your life, you are having to move away from one of them. Let's see what else. Why is the death card here, please? For my collective. Ace of Swords, the Devil, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have to speak your truth. Whatever this situation was that you're moving away from was a toxic situation. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. This, I feel, is you. You're striving, you're moving towards this Nine of Pentacles. You know, whether it means you're single and abundant or with someone and abundant, this is your happiness. This is pre-Empress right here. And, you know, gender doesn't matter, guys. It's the energy. But this is this is your happy happiness. This is what you're striving for. This is what you're moving towards. And with this devil energy here, I feel like you need to um, realize and you do realize that this was a toxic situation. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles just came out. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. There's someone you may be moving towards who you feel is your, you know, true partner. I feel like with this page of pentacles, it may have taken some time for you to get to this point to move towards your queen or your king. I feel like that with this true pair on the board, there's a lot of passion here that the both of you share for one another. And you may actually be ending one thing to go towards another. And if you're not ending it as of yet, you are definitely thinking about it. It's in your head to do so. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here, please, for my collective? One more shuffle. Okay. The Five of Pentacles. Wow. The Five of Cups and the Page of Wands. Uh, this is... This is there's a lot of feelings here, a lot of passion here. With the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, you want to go to this person. You don't want to leave this person behind. You have a lot of regret for um, something that happened in the past, and you want to go in and let this person know how much you care about them, how passionate you are about them you know, the sadness and the regret. It has taken some time for you to get to this point. Are you nervous about going back? Absolutely. But, and if this isn't you, you know, feel free to, to swap this out. Somebody's coming into you. Um, but somebody, if it's not you, someone has a lot of sadness and a lot of regret. And somebody was definitely left out in the cold. There's definitely an apology on the board here as well with the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Why is the Page of Cups here, please? We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Death card again. So this has taken some time. Somebody was holding back, whether it's you or the other person. This has taken some time to get to this point. Someone's been holding back and someone's been holding on, not wanting to let go, not wanting to have something end. But they realize now that something has to end. 
in order for something else to begin. It's like you can't have your cake and eat it too, so to speak. Let's get an outcome. Spirit, what is the outcome, please, for my collective? What is the outcome for my collective, please? What is the outcome? Woo. Okay, we'll take them. Thank you. All right, the outcome, the Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups, reconciliation. So someone is truly, truly, truly in their head over this situation, over this reconciliation. And whether that's you or the other person, I have a feeling that it's you Perhaps this other person is coming in with all of this to you and this is what you're going to end up like because this has taken a while. I mean, if this is you, you've moved on. You're, you're sitting pretty. You're doing your own thing. You're, you know, fine and dandy. And then all of a sudden, you know, bam. And now what? Right? So... Let's get an advice card. Spirit, what advice do you have for my collective, please? Let's see what they have to say. My collective, please, advice. March 4th, 2021. We have two. Work through your fears. Work through your fears. Don't be afraid. Um, think long and hard. Take your time. You don't owe anybody anything. Work through your fears, whatever you're comfortable with. And a new romantic cycle begins. Yes. So when this person comes back, or if you are going back to somebody, it, I feel like it's going to be good. I mean, we all learn lessons from the past. You know, we all learn lessons from how things were before. And sometimes those lessons are really painful, but they make you that much better for the second time around or the even the third time around, right? So... Get ready, guys, because it's a coming. <laughs> anyway, so there you go for Thursday. I love, love, love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.